<laughs> Hallie and I have decided to go our separate ways. Uh -huh. This decision was not easy, but we believe it's the best path forward for the both of us. I cherish the time we spent together and the love we've shared. Despite the change in our relationship, our love for each other remains deep and true. We are still best friends and adore each other. As we focus on our individual journeys and our roles as co-parents, we cherish the bond we've built and beautiful moments we've shared. As we navigate this transition, we ask for your understanding and support. Thank you for your love and encouragement, DDG. So um, I think a lot of the reason why people maybe had something to say around this announcement was that <laughs> there was an announcement. Yeah. By him. By him. Yeah, yeah. yeah she know, hasn't does, really said anything. Does anybody else think that is... I mean, I like... I do like believing what people say. Like, I don't want to be, like, the one that's speculated all the time. But I don't know. I thought it was a prank. Like, do people really think that they broke up? Well, it, oh, yeah. it, it seems like did? recently okay. on his stream, <laughs> he, he hinted that... He's not talking to no one. He's not interested in dating anyone. If he has another kid, he wants it to. He doesn't want multiple baby mamas. Yeah. So he's insinuating that there could be a way in which they get back together. Um. So it is giving that she broke up with him. I ain't gonna um, lie. And and that could be maybe why he's talking. This could just be a heartbroken man. Y'all act like y'all don't be heartbroken from breakups, but that's what it's given. I'd be fucked um, up. I think the internet is really weird. I'd be crying. I, I know that... I, no, wait, hold up, man. What? We ain't gonna just nah, skip over can't just skip what? over that. I'd be fucked up See? over breakups. Me and Twin be fucked up. We don't eat yeah, shit. What but, do you guys do? Like, do you guys, same. like, crash out or do you guys just kind of get depressed? Because oh, like, I'm just, like, a depressed girl. Like, I, I, don't, I don't go crazy. Like, I just go to Niggas my show. gonna be in the club or talk. That's, they they are talking on the internet. Like, do you guys wild out? Like, do you guys... I blame myself and I sulk. Oh, my God. Now what? Yeah, what you do? I sit with my tears, nigga. I fucking lose weight, nigga. Like, what are you talking about, nigga? I turn anorexic. Shit, yeah, I see do my it all. Ribs oh, and all I that. should do it. Yo, Brushy, please. <laughs> Brushy, please. Just to some 10 pounds? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, trying to, she's trying to rule her happy home. I'm going to tough. Brazil next month. I need to, you know, <laughs> get this body together. Take so. a little break. <laughs> girl, go ahead, girl, go ahead and get, just get a little shot shot. <laughs> 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 Shot, just take it. No. If you want, I could invite your man on the trip with me. Like we just have wow. a gosh. Wow. Not the he's, he's, he's not gonna appreciate the segment. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you do during a breakup segment? <laughs> nah, I just I get real. I fuck up. I, I, I self sabotage. Yeah. I know. You like crash out. Yeah. And, and and everything I mean, is going I, wrong. I think that yeah. that's what this is. I think he's heartbroken. But let's be very clear too. Mm -hmm. This is. I mean. I'm sure my audience was sick of me crying on my podcast every week when I broke up with my partner and went through a fucking year and a half of mm -hmm. traumatized healing from that. Yeah. But mm -hmm. this is how this man makes money. And I, I, also, know, I know niggas don't believe, niggas call yeah. him a bum and shit. Yeah. DDG. Well, who's niggas? I was just about to say the internet. internet. Put a name on no, it. No, put a no, name no, on no. it. The initial. The internet. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I mean, because the oh. internet is strange. For sure. But I also feel like oh, I'm about to fuck. The honey. internet is Wait, strange. Why you want to say what? It? All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, there's a lot of people who just because you don't know who someone is, it doesn't make them a bum. Who is all people? It take, who people, is people, because this is the internet. Let's be very clear. Cool. There's one Potter who wanted to have his goddamn opinion. We're not going <laughs> to talk about him because more people have shared that same sentiment. Yeah, so, I don't know who he is either. Me no, neither. Like I didn't know him before dating this but, person. So, you know what I know him for? Changing his voice. So do you want to know what's crazy? <laughs> That's like he, a random thing to he, know. He <laughs> is Kai Sanat's daddy. Let's be very clear. Honestly. In content world. In content world, Guys. he's been doing this. He owns all of his own content. So to even refer to him as a bum, I know we can't lean into net worths, right? But even if you look it up, his net worth is double Hallie's on the internet. Let's also talk about Hallie is an artist. Cool, she had Little Mermaid. She got 1.5 million. Then you got fucking management, everyone else to pay out of that. Probably Beyonce got, babies. You know what I mean? Probably got all of 600K from that. She is an artist Yo. whose sister is already saying, hey guys, I can't give you live shows because no I don't have the budget to do it. Like, as an artist, these they're starving out here. Atlantic just laid off fucking 50 plus artists. The, all, of, all of these budgets in the music industry are not what Y'all think mm -hmm. so? Hadley ain't really the breadwinner. Winner, y'all probably think she is. Like DDG is a provider. Yeah. He is a provider. Been making money. Been, and and him. We talking about him now. This is why he's talking. Cause you know what? Let me just lean into where I know to make money. Mm -hmm. He's getting clicks, views. People are now going to see. Guess what? Who the fuck he is? I bet you his YouTube his count vlogs. going up. It's Those vlogs. Right it's running up right now. I, I mean, what what Mandy said about um, Kai said I kind of like following in line with the DDG era. Like I don't think that's far off, honestly, guys. Like I'm a YouTube girl. Like DDG really. He been around. He, he's he's been like around. a pioneer I'm in that familiar. space, and he's rich. rich what, like he's what, what, rich. rich. What does DDG stand for? 
It's his name is Daryl something. J- J- Granberry. Yeah, yeah. some. It, it's it's, some, a, it's his, <laughs> That's really his name. Yeah, yeah it Granberry. Is. It's like it. yeah, it's, yeah. His, it's his initials. I'm not saying how he's moving in this breakup is like my favorite, but I'm just saying just to the point of like people calling DDG a bum. He's not a bum. Like but let's when, get that clear. You know, when it, when it comes to the people who's asking who this nigga is, there is a culture. They old as fucking just don't know. No, it's not that. It's it's not about age. I don't think it's an ageism thing. I think. Content brings you to so many different places, right? You got people who consume content through Netflix, people who consume content through, um, like, radio. Yeah, uh, you're right. Youth, whatever. Like, everybody has a different platform that serves them. I think when it comes to DDG, it is more so an age demographic. Yeah. I think it's also what you're into. And then, like, she gives him, or she gave him, in my opinion, cultural equity. Mm. You know what? She provided cultural equity because I know him because of his relationship with her. It doesn't take away what he did in his space and his lane, but the culture knew who she was and who her sister was, and that provided the platform for them. It's almost like a Russell Wilson and Ciara thing, right? Like, I can see the parallels in them, not in the person, not personalities or anything like that, but just the cultural relevance. Ciara gave Russell Wilson the cultural yeah. relevance that he has in the same way that DDG received the cultural relevance from dating her. Well, I That's also, how I see it. And I think, though, that there is a um, apples to oranges comparison when we're talking about cultural influence and money. Right. Yes, because, sure. the same, because the for same sure. is can be said about a Russell Wilson and Sierra. Absolutely. Russell Wilson has way more money than mm-hmm. Sierra, mm-hmm. but Sierra probably has more of the cultural cachet yeah. because she's been around for the last 20 exactly. years. That's a good point. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And so I think that that's the kind of comparison right now yeah. with, with what we're seeing with Hallie being the Black Little Mermaid. Right. And DDG mm-hmm. being a YouTuber or streamer. And, and the Beyonce co sign, like, let's not ignore that. Of course. That. The Beyonce co sign, that's a major. Come on. Like, that's how she was introduced to me. I'm sure she was introduced to a lot of people Absolutely. through that yeah, co sign. Yeah. So course. that comes with a certain cultural cachet yeah. that DDG may not have had culturally. It doesn't take away from what he did in his lane, which is streaming now. Shout out to the streamers. I ain't fucking with y'all niggas no more. <laughs> y'all chill. got it. You, you know what I'm saying? Chill. Y'all got it. Yeah. It doesn't take away, but I think those are two different lanes. Like, mm-hmm. one of the things that I think our community does is if you're black you assume we're supposed to know who you are right mm. but we are so much more layered than just being black yeah. so for me to not know who anybody in amp is it's not a slight to me and it's not a slight to them i think it's more so a proponent of growth <clears throat> and us diving into different spaces streaming and video games and mm-hmm. all of those things it used to be linear it used to you used to look at a person and be like, oh, he's a gamer, mm-hmm. he's a streamer. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't exist anymore because of the DDGs, mm-hmm. because of the people and, in the yeah. AMPs. Cool, yeah. And he also pivoted out of just doing streaming yeah, he was and doing, content. He, he, so got into he music. became a rapper. Right? He became a rapper. And then speaking mm-hmm. on that, and that's why I'm, I'm glad we kind of landed there mm-hmm. because in he the was same, trying to land there about 15 minutes ago. No, not, <laughs> not at all. The, the crazy <laughs> thing Who is, said it? <laughs> who who you talking about? <laughs> the crazy thing is. <laughs> Crazy like land that motherfucker. <laughs> in the same way that there's some people who may not be informed yeah. with the DDGs, I don't always love the response, the default when people like a DDG go to money, when they go to oh who are you? Like I don't respect that because money isn't a gauge of how relevant you are. Like, well, he, it wasn't money. He went to record. He has a record sales. He has a what platinum With record? Who are you guys talking about? Yeah, DDG. Okay. So he posted that he has a platinum <laughs> record, and that it took, I tried. And that and that it took twenty years for Joe to get to gold. Like I think it's also corny when black oh. people do that. The accolade comparison. Going. The money comparison. Oh, you don't know me, nigga. You wash. Like, but, I don't like that back and forth but it's either. Also, but it's also relationship dynamics, right? And the reason why I brought up him pivoting out of just doing streaming and content was he became a rapper, right? Yeah. You become a rapper, that's supposed to come with a certain sort of cachet, right? Like a cool effect or I feel like people should know me, like similar to what Savon was saying. And for the most part, rappers are prominent and they're popular. When you get next to her... And he is who he is. He's probably knowing yeah. how much is in his bank account. And like, damn, I done got all these plaques and everything. And her audience just looks at me as the sidekick. <gasps> Can yeah. I say something? Is this kind of like, oh my God, I don't know if this is offensive, but th- this kind of reminds me of when Y Van Corday got with um, Naomi, Naomi, Naomi Osaka. Naomi Osaka. People are like, Big yo, Zoe. Corday is like a house husband now. But he was like, right before that, he was so hot. hot and that, but you're, hot. you're not like, yeah. you know, world champion tennis star hot. I mean, I don't know. We, we, we see it with uh, Cardi B and Offset. Yeah, we yeah. do. Cardi B is 
a force and a movement in her own right. I mean, to be fair, we and, also saw it with Iman and Tiana Taylor. Like, but you also have the shift in dynamics yeah. of of Offset was him when he got with Cardi. Cardi leveled up. Same with Iman was in the NBA. When he got with Tiana, Tiana wasn't really doing much. Tiana leveled up. There's also a lot to say about how men respond in relationships mm -hmm. when those dynamics shift yeah. to where they don't become the supportive. Because Absolutely. that's the problem. That is why I think the audience does not like DDG. We saw him show his monkey ass yeah. when she was promoting the little mermaid i His remember that era, yeah. what he did what he acting did like he ain't like that she had a kissing scene made it oh, literally yeah. made it very uncomfortable to where she didn't even want him on the carpet with her while that press was happening it was very distracting it was very distracting yeah. and he was tweeting like he was an insecure fuck nigga See? And, and and i think that that's where it's like Bro, when we see that men can't sit here and uplift or support the success of their women as they excel, mm -hmm. that becomes a difficult thing. But I think we can blame the patriarchy on that. Well, everybody needs to take a book out of uh, Hove's book. What, what, everybody needs to a take page a page, out, what, page out of Hove's book. What is it? Go ahead. Because I think you could say the same thing for Hove and Beyonce. Yeah, because that's that's uh, he is now Beyonce's husband. husband. Wait, okay. But I think it's different. What you going to say, Reggie? Go ahead. I just have a good example. Yeah. What I think... No offense. I think this is a better example. The way you've been saying, no offense, child. Rocky and Rihanna. Mm -hmm. I feel like ah. he does an amazing mm -hmm. job of uplifting his lady. He does. Mm -hmm. He anyway, does. Sorry, but well, what's continue. the book out of... In what way are you saying a page it, out it, of Poe's book? It's just understanding your role, right? Like, I'm sure that the dynamic between Jay-Z and Beyonce is a lot more collaborative than the public may think. A lot of people see Beyonce... And she she's Beyonce, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like, Billboard's doing a list of the pop stars over the last decade or some shit like that or the last century. I, uh, Pierre, if you don't mind looking that up to quote me. But yeah, I got you. Beyonce is going to be higher than Jay-Z mm -hmm. in that list mm -hmm. of the biggest pop stars of the last however many Absolutely. years. Yeah. Right? Beyonce has a lot more influence when it comes to her music, when it comes to her touring, when it comes to just being an icon, mm -hmm. Beyonce is her. But Jay-Z never seems to allow that to affect him in his place in entertainment, in mm -hmm. business deals, and music. He supports her when she's going on tour. Mm -hmm. He's on the he side of the stage. Yeah. He never interferes with what it is that she's doing. Yeah, you want to know why I think it works for Hove? He's okay with just being the breadwinner. I think that's the problem with a lot of these dynamics, right? People want to be the breadwinner and the star. And the star. Right? Mm. Where it's just like, yo, sometimes your partner, yeah, it's yep. ego, right? Oh. Sometimes your partner is just going to be that person. And you should just be okay that you know you're the one with $200 million in the bank. I think, you know, though, when you get into the entertainment space, right. a lot of people, kind of what we've been talking about this whole time, popularity, honestly, for a lot of people, means more than money. Yeah. And people I'm want, that. people want to be like, people want people to talk about them. People mm -hmm. want, the access the, to feel like they're them. Yeah. And when that starts to to lessen and you're next to someone who's supposed to be your partner, then now you're having a step behind. Specifically for men, that becomes difficult. 